All right, guys, welcome back. There, here we go. Let me just uh, lower the volume of the channel. Okay. Just have it here. Uh, might as well stop it. Okay, guys, let me just go back. And as usual, <clears throat> I wanted to record another video today because markets are moving and this is the time to start building positions, taking risk and absolutely pay attention because the next couple months we're a couple days uh, to start summer 2019 and they also markets also slow down so we, we want to position ourselves now. This is the time, not tomorrow morning. We, we cannot really overthink the situation. So I have another update for every one of you, everyone including the audience of Marketers Daily and members of the different products we offer in the company. Okay, perfect. Again, my name is Jose Ricardo Jaén. I'm the editor of the Prosperity Digest newsletter and product specialist. I have said it many times, Markets Traders Daily. I have a I have an idea right now, and it's a it's a contrarian contrarian idea. You have heard so many times the phrase, the statement, "Don't try to catch the falling knife." But the reality is that we need to look at if it's a falling knife or it's just a market overreaction. That's what we need to figure. And I'm going to talk today about WTI oil versus the US dollar. The US dollar it's uh, apparently uh, in, a, in a double a double top uh, 98.33 was the previous top once again today we printed 98.37 if I'm not mistaken <clears throat> so we have to take this opportunity that will help if the dollar crashes it will it will definitely help pri uh, oil prices to recover and as the trade war, the tension, the tension between the, U, uh, uh, the U.S. and China comes to an end, it will prepare, propel higher oil prices. And that's what we have to look. We're going to take a look in exactly, once again, my step-by-step, -step, my process, how I look into these big trades in the long term. We're looking in to four, eight months, eight months down the road. And that's how we're looking to make big money. These ideas, these trades are for those of you professionals, architects, engineers, teachers, any one of you that are your consultants, anyone you're on the road, you're traveling, sales agents, you, you, you want to develop your career, you love what you do, but you're also looking to invest, to trade, but you don't have the time, day trading, absolutely not for you, so you're looking for opportunities, you're looking for ideas, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, to the right, you already have the red button click there make sure you receive all the content we publish on weekly basis so have you sent that remember that all these are for education purposes only we're not financial advisors so make sure you understand the risk involved measure your risk before you execute any trading idea uh, trading and investing is a uh, risk ventures because you can lose capital so make sure that you do so with funds that in the event you lose them they do not affect your day-to-day -day lifestyle alrighty let's begin let's work so let's go to the charts but before that let's take a look what's happening I got it uh, what is happening with uh, the dollar index where are we and as you can say uh, you can see right here 98.37 that's slightly four point uh, zero four points above the previous one see that the 52 week range is published here in bloomberg.com it's uh, 93.20 to all the way to 98.37 where we we have almost five dollars that's five almost five dollars five dollars ten cents up in the last uh, in the last year for the dollar index dxy uh, it's very important that you you get to know this this index and now also if i take a look at bloomberg's energy section we are down for the day three dollars twenty cents uh, a five percent change 
in the price of WTI. This is very, it's not a common thing. It's not a common thing. And we want to pay attention and we want to take advantage of this. So I will be looking, my idea will be, if I have five thousand dollars, if I have, if you, if you have five thousand dollars, if you have ten thousand dollars, where do you put that money to play? Where do you put it? Where do you allocate those funds? Well, I will take a trade in WTI in oil, and the way I will do this is explain the different levels and how you can build a position all the way, measuring your risk and then targeting the upside that I'm expecting to have in the next four to eight weeks. That's my duration for this trade. Now, I'm going to start working on the monthly chart. Remember, always focus on the monthly chart. This is where we want to we wanna start our efforts. What is happening? Okay, so first off, I noticed that to the right, you see we have a high 6660. Right now, what markets are protecting is the, the, the value 67. That's where the smart money is saying no more we don't we don't want at least in the foreseeable future we don't want oil to be above this level now the retracement so far is eight dollars eight that's all but now i see this big red candle and then i have to start thinking what happens every time that there's a big drop in oil so if i zoom a little bit thinking just from 2016 and look for evidence uh, we have a big drop here, almost $9.70, and then markets push higher, $8. Uh, we have this example here, two bear candles, and then from this section, that's another $8.60, and then markets go all the way $12. Uh, I'm pretty sure something similar happened here. Uh, this uh, In this area, uh, in this area, I have $5 to the downside. In two months, uh, in two weeks, we're looking. We're looking, uh, taking a look at two weeks. Um, so that that tells me that there's a probability that this is an exception. This is the big drop at the, at the end of 2018. The last time it dropped, eight dollar sixty cents. Eventually, what markets did, they move all the way up twelve dollars. So that seems to be the range, eight for twelve. Once again, we have it in this. Uh, sometime around May, since the May is a very key month on the seasonality for this asset class, and eight dollars as well, and then it here it goes up ten dollars. So we have a massive drop, three dollars in one single trading session. The month is down from open to close, five dollars. We may presume that there's a continuation for another three dollars sixty cents, and we'll be looking all the way down to the range, well, level area around fifty-three, fifty, fifty-three, eighty. Now, also, if you take a look at this resistance, and one of the things I learned from Ross Mullins, who is our head of trading, uh, he talks a lot about historical levels, and that's one of, that's one of the reasons why I always use the monthly chart. The chart, it's very important for you to understand where are we. Now, this high here, uh, right right there, you can see it, um, 5570 in January 2017, that's a critical high. Now, because this high will be behaving, will be behaving as support. It happened in this zone, this zone, entire zone. You can take a look, high, 5730, the high in this area, 50, 5570, over here again, 5733, the low was 55, so indeed, high, once again, I'm going to repeat it, the high, $55.70, and in this candle, the low is 55, support, resistance, now support, and from this support, from this $55, $55.70, $55, then, Oil prices went all the way up ten dollars. Is that something that we think it's going to happen? Well, historical levels. What happened in the past may somehow repeat itself. Uh, Ross Mullins talks a lot about market memory. Markets have memory, so it's not a guarantee because uh, past performance cannot be promised. 
but it's just an indication. So what I will do after publishing this video, and remember, I publish the ideas and then I go and initiate my positions in everything I share with every one of you. Okay, so what I'm thinking is this markets will keep pushing lower. However, remember the dollar index have dollar index is already trading below the 98 mark. That's the round figure. That's a key figure and that may attract short sellers, more sellers, more participants are looking to sell the US dollar because as we know the US dollar is overvalued at least 10 to 12 percent so the amount of money that you can make to the upside is limited now if that's the case I'm looking for this position here the 55 to the 50 uh, 55 dollar to the 55 dollar 70 cents area to be critical now the risk to start building positions going long that will be about three let's say four dollars so we will play with the 5420 in this case that will be our exit exit strategy going long and we will start building position because it's pointless it is totally pointless for us to try to pick a bottom it's not gonna happen and as vice versa if you're trying to pick the top it's not gonna happen no one does that again think about a hedge think like a hedge fund you want to start building your position and if our thesis is that this is just a corrective because please look at this it's just a corrective prices will need to close and open below $55 for us to rethink that the trend is bearish now of course if you look at this sec this area we have prices bouncing all the way from forty two dollars now we cannot deny that it was a massive drop but prices once again are trading in a bullish channel we can throw some let's just throw some trend lines we can look at this this way you can see even prices can come all the way down prices can come all the way down to five dollars sixty cents that will be fifty two fifty four there's there's no reason for us to d discount this uh, probability but we can also say just raise the bar or just just move this go up a little bit and you can see it right here we have all this support this is what i call the excess in the trend and then trend is up trend is up then broke and it went back so once again it's trading the trading here the, the price action is bullish now of course you have a big drop in a day which is not common three dollars and a little bit more but think about this as just a corrective corrective impulse attracting more buyers more sellers more liquidity into the asset class that's what it is and we can have this level this area 57 and this is where we will find support but again this is what I'm playing with this level back in 2000 well just make sure to January 2017 again and then here we have uh, sometime November November yes yes November 2017 during the, the same year okay great now what we're gonna build is build our position and let's say this it's gonna my exit will be the I already said we're going to use four dollars fifty cents estimated for 50 53 I will use 53.80 as my exit there you go and then I will start building my position now why do I expect that's my exit let me just write down have this information so we are all in the same page okay exit price 53.80 risk have it here for everyone to see and then I want to go long so uh, I will be risking at least four dollars fifty cents in my position then when I have everything ready I will share what I'm looking at what I'm risking as far as dollars uh, dollar position I'm risking five thousand dollars or risking three thousand dollars it all depends and the reason why I'm giving this in this uh, projecting this idea um, is 
how you allocate your money. You can have $1,000 that can be your capital and you probably have $10,000 or you have $20,000 and you want to pursue this idea. Then you have to structure that based on your position. If you have a bigger account, I will probably per position will be risking 25% of the account. It depends. Uh, if you want to be more conservative, just risk 5%. It is all based on your risk profile. Remember, we're not financial advisors. So I'm just setting up the idea as far as uh, value of risk and then how you can establish that. So the value that you're going to risk, it will be $4.50. And then I'm looking, at least it will be convenient, but it doesn't happen on every single trade that we can take home 2 to 1 risk reward ratio. It doesn't work that way. But I'm looking at least based on some patterns that we... Uh, looked together looking at some patterns that they tell me it's on the table as well so I'm gonna look for that on the uh, next chart and I know this is my range and I want to mention one thing before I leave this area remember what I've discussed in in other videos I have discussed price rotation so the rotation in this case is somewhere around this level the 55 $55 $55.20 and you can see it over this area you have also that will say to the high 6390 that's a price rotation so in fact if I start building around this level then I can expect all the way back to 64 maybe go higher how I'm going to project how high it can go and where it should also stop. Then I'm going to look at the next chart. And here um, I want to take a look and switch to the weekly. The weekly gives me an idea. I always remember use the 50, day, uh, 50 exponential moving average. I mean, I have it now in the weekly chart. And what I'm looking is that first is not set in stone that this will go down more. Obviously, it will require... It will very difficult to open above it but don't discount this to happen so uh, to happen this fact what I want to want to convey here is the idea that just because it's closing below and open don't think that it has zero opportunity to reverse what I want to do this is uh, now is uh, do the f fully extension of the Fibonacci on the weekly again just a different chart and looking at the different levels so the 38.2 percent is at 57 30 cents and the next one is at 54.46 keep in mind that the 30 and the 61 are the critical levels now we know that somewhere based on historical levels this area remember what we discussed this is a very important area this is the area where we have you can think about this as another critical support region now what I want to do is make sure that I understand my probabilities, how high it can go. And I'm just going to take the full range. And if I, for example, if we were to reverse that, I don't see my opinion, my view is that it won't happen from this uh, 38.2 Fibonacci, probably just keep dropping all the way down to 5446. Then I'm looking at a 78. So I'm looking looking actually to a double top. That will be my thesis, a double top. This will be uh, an opportunity that also takes place because the Saudis will, will play the game and it will be convenient for them to have oil prices as high as possible. They're profitable at 50, even probable profitable at 40. But why you just want to be limited? Might as well just double or triple your margins so this could be a case so this is what I'm looking prices to come down just, just have everything together so you can have an idea um, using from the low to the high to the recent high $66 and what was about 40 cents and then I'm thinking that this will come down this will definitely keep dropping. I just want to start start building my position. And if it stops around this region, then the projection will go all the way to $78. I will be conservative. My first target absolutely will be to the zero Fibonacci level. So that will be $12. I'm risking $450 to get back $12 in my investment, in my in this particular trade. For 
to eight weeks. That's what I'm looking here. And then I will leave one position open, half, half position or 25% of my position, and we'll look to close with a $23 profit. 450 to get back $23 for. I will be risking on every position. I will be risking four and a half to get back 23. And right there, you will have at least a more than two to one risk reward ratio. So this is my idea. I wanted to share markets that right now are going down the hill as far as WTI. Oil against the wall. I do think that the downside is totally limited. But on the other hand, the dollar, it's flaring on the edge. Because today we have a double top. Let me just go back. Let me refresh. See where we at with the US dollar where prices are trading Let's see if we can get that remember 98 37 today's high previous high 98 33 so that's a double top i don't have to put i don't have to share that on a chart you exactly know how is that going to be so we have that information that's not updating or it's taking too long so i'm just going to leave it there but again this is the range um once again i'm looking let me write down it's very important for me to share the information we have the risk now I'm going to add in this area we have take profit number one that will be 0% Fibonacci and that's $12 profit versus risk 450 And then my final target around the seventy-eight dollars. Final target. Take profit number two. There you go, seventy-eight dollars, which is equals at twenty-three dollar profit. Risking 450. That's the idea. And remember, always use different levels to take profits. Profit taking must be expected at different levels. Pass at least initially this 60, 64 level, 64 level to start um, experiencing profit taking, not from us, but from market participants. Okay, so this is my idea. Markets are right now going down. Let me see what we have in the market watch. 58, 57 was still down there. Uh, dollar cattles can be an option. Keep that in mind. Uh, just protect your, your first position because you decide to go short the Canadian dollar. Uh, yesterday they have good data, so think about that. Uh, the euro 70 pips from the low it's very exciting 60 64 pips where's the pound Let's see we have the pound dollar to gold up uh, substantially $14 in one single session that's very high the pound have it down here uh, also up 80 pips well 74 well 70 76 pips from the low to, to current pricing or high so markets are moving pay attention and that's the opportunity I'm looking at oil versus the US dollar absolutely if dollar keeps going down there was they, this actually will propel longs in the oil markets and as I mentioned before we must find the difference the narrative between a corrective price action a bearish trend and a bullish trend this is absolutely the way it looks to me it's at least a corrective price action, not a change in the trend. Mar uh, the prices next week can, or next two weeks can keep uh, going sideways, go lower a little bit. I will be expecting this to settle around this er uh, area of um, area of work, and then pushing higher. That's what I'm expecting for the oil markets. Thank you for watching. Remember, again, just to the right. Somewhere around here, there is the red button. Make sure if you want to keep receiving these ideas, just subscribe, subscribe to our channel, and I will keep working smart and hard to deliver these ideas for you to have an opportunity 
in the markets. Thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Jose Ricardo Jaén, editor of the Prosperity Digest newsletter and product specialist at Market Service Daily. Thank you for watching and have a great afternoon.